What is up everybody? This is Moritz here speaking to you and I'm a Shopify developer from Germany and super often I get asked by my clients how you can build these trust badges icons with emojis and the truth behind it is that I can actually charge a lot of money to build this custom for them but there's a little secret behind it. I actually do use an app for it which is completely for free and the section I'm using for it is called trust badges emoji. The app itself is called Section Store. It's a component library with over 300 fully customizable Shopify exclusive components, and you don't need a single line of code for it. Those are just two ways you could design that, and those are all the customization options in it. You can get this one for a one-time fee of $9. It means if you bought it once, you also own it forever, and it's such a big time and money saver. I can just guarantee you it will be done super fast, and it's definitely worth it and going to increase your conversion rate. So yeah, let's head to the My Sections area of the app after successfully getting the section and here we are and we're just going to look for it trust batches make sure we get the right one trust batches free trust batches pro and trust batches emoji here we have it you can simply add it to the theme with clicking on add to theme in my case it's the dawn live theme, but it does work on every theme so don't worry about that it's also fully responsive it does look lovely on mobile as well i'm going to show you in a second and then just open up the theme editor right here. I've already done so. I'm right here on one of my product pages, just a default product to showcase to you how this action works. That's the one I already have in there. Let's just save it up real quick. And here I wanna show you how it's done. So just click on add section, type in trust batches. And here you have the SS section store, trust batches emoji. That's the one we will be using today. Let's give this a little save up. And in a sec, we should be able to see it. Yeah, that's the one. And now we can also decide where it's going to be positioned. So if we want to have it below the product title, it's also possible. Just make sure you always click on save so it gets displayed in the correct way. So right here, we can decide how big the emojis actually are. I'm just going to drag it up a bit so we can be sure it's getting positioned at the right place and it doesn't always scroll down. So yeah, here we can see it already. We did some changes to the icon size and now I wanna have the text a little bit bigger as well. Mm, that's a bit too big. <laughs> yeah, this looks nice. Let's do it on 20. And you can see right here, I told you it's fully responsive. So on mobile, it does look nice as well. And yeah, a bunch of other things you can customize. For example, the title color is something you could change in that case. I'm just gonna put it to green. And if I go back one step again, you can see you have four tabs right here. Those are those four tabs. So if I click on one of them, you can see here we have the icon or the emoji. You can also use meta fields for it. So if I would connect the other source, that is also possible. You could select an image instead of an icon. And here you can simply change the text. I'm just gonna show you that it's getting updated live. You have the 6x, ships free completely. And here you can see that as well. And for the emojis, you can use a little library. I'm using the Emojipedia library. So here you can see if I click on one of those, example the truck and just copy it, I can head back to the store. And instead of that, the truck is going in there. So it kind of relates with shipping now. And the same goes with all the other ones as well. So if I click on clean ingredients instead of that one, I could just type in, let's see what we get for clean. So we get this bathtub. We can just copy that as well. Now it's copied and I'm gonna replace this. And now we have that. And now I wanna have a final look at it in the live version. So let this load up, give this one an opener. And now we're gonna head to the product page on one of our default products. To the one we just saw and here you can already see this is looking lovely works perfectly fine there are a bunch of other things you can customize as well but i didn't want to get into detail too much if you have any questions always feel free to reach out to me in the comment section and with that being said have a good one and peace out